Forget the superpowers, Sweden just dropped a bombshell. The Saab Gripen E fighter jet is smarter, cheaper, and deadlier, quietly outsmarting giants like the F-35 in today's high-stakes skies. Sweden might not be the first nation that comes to mind when you think of cutting-edge fighter jets. Yet behind the scenes, this northern nation has spent decades quietly developing one of the most capable and cost-effective combat aircraft in the world. Meet the Saab Gripen E, Sweden's newest multi-role fighter jet. A machine designed not just to compete with the giants of aviation, but to outthink them. This is not a marketing slogan, it's a story of innovation born of necessity. Because Sweden, unlike the United States or Russia, never had the luxury of bottomless defense budgets or sprawling overseas bases. Instead, what it had to innovate smarter, he cheaper, and faster. Today, that ingenuity has produced a jet that many analysts say could be the smartest in the sky. To understand why the Gripen E matters so much, you have to step back in time. Sweden's defense policy during the Cold War was built on neutrality. It didn't belong to NATO and didn't have a superpower protector. That meant if the Warsaw Pact ever came charging across the Baltic, Sweden would be on its own. Out of that reality grew a culture of self-reliance. Saab produced its own jets like the Draken and Vigan. Aircraft built to launch from short stretches of road, refuel in minutes, and scatter before the enemy could target them. When the first Gripen appeared in the late 1980s, it was designed as a JAS aircraft. Jacked, attack, spanning, meaning fighter, attack, reconnaissance all rolled into one. It was light, cheap to run, and fast to turn around. In other words, perfect for Sweden's concept of dispersed operations. Fast forward three decades, and that concept has evolved into the Gripen E. It's still recognizably a Gripen, but everything inside and under the skin has been rethought for a new era. The heart of the jet is the General Electric F414G engine, part of the same family that powers the US Navy's Super Hornet. With nearly 22,000 pounds of thrust, the Gripen E leaps from short runways and climbs fast. But power alone isn't what makes this fighter special. Its Raven ES-05A ESA radar can sweep wide arcs, track multiple targets at long range, and even look over the shoulder to watch for threats behind the aircraft. Paired with the Meteor Beyond Visual Range missile, the longest-range air-to-air weapon currently fielded in NATO, the Gripen E can hit opponents before they even know it's there. Yet sensors and weapons are only part of the story. The Gripen E's Arexis Electronic Warfare Suite has earned a reputation as one of the most advanced defensive systems outside the US. It can jam, spoof, and confuse enemy radars and missiles, turning the aircraft into a moving electronic shield. While it's not a stealth jet in the classic sense like the F-35, its EW systems give it a kind of digital stealth, making it much harder to target effectively. For small air forces that can't afford the F-35's price tag and maintenance headaches, that's a big deal. It offers much of the survivability at a fraction of the cost. Cost, in fact, is one of the Grapen E's secret weapons. Saab estimates its operating cost at around $4,000 to $5,000 per flight hour, a fraction of the $30,000 plus that the F-35 consumes. This low cost isn't just about saving money, it's about readiness. Air forces can afford to fly the Grapen E more often, keeping pilots sharp and maintaining a high level of availability. It's no accident that countries like Brazil, Hungary, and the Czech Republic already operate or have ordered Gripens. Others, from Finland to Canada to India, have studied it closely as an alternative to traditional superpower suppliers. The Gripen E's design philosophy also reflects a digital age mindset. It's a network-centric jet built to share data seamlessly with other aircraft, ground forces, and naval units. Its mission computer can be upgraded rapidly with software drops rather than expensive overhauls. In practice, this means the aircraft's capabilities can evolve year by year, staying ahead of threats without massive reinvestment. Saab even designed the cockpit and avionics so that future sensors or weapons can be slotted in with minimal disruption. That flexibility appeals to nations who don't want to be locked into a single supplier's long-term upgrade cycle. Compare this with the F-35. The American jet brings stealth and a powerful sensor fusion system, but at the cost of complexity, high maintenance, and enormous support infrastructure. The Rafale brings versatility and proven combat record, but at a higher price point. 
The Eurofighter Typhoon offers raw speed and payload, but again comes with steep operating costs. The Grapen E deliberately aims for a sweet spot. Advanced sensors, powerful EW, flexible weapons, low operating cost, and rapid turnaround. In an era where budgets are tight but threats are multiplying, that's an appealing formula. Another area where the Gripen E shines is its ability to disperse. Unlike the F-35, which relies on specialized support gear and secure bases, the Gripen can land on stretches of highway or small regional airstrips. Ground crews of just a handful of conscripts can refuel and rearm it in about 10 minutes. This makes it almost impossible to neutralize in a first strike. Even a small fleet can scatter across a country and keep fighting after an initial attack. For nations worried about cruise missiles, hypersonic strikes, or cyber attacks on large bases, Saab and Sweden aren't stopping here. The company is already experimenting with artificial intelligence to assist pilots, next-generation sensors, and even concepts for unmanned wingmen that could fly alongside the Gripen E. Because the jet's architecture is modular, these future upgrades can be integrated without having to design an entirely new airframe. This spiral development approach means the Gripen E bot today can evolve for decades, much like Sweden's classic Viggen did in its era. Beyond technology, there's also a strategic message embedded in the Gripen E. It's a statement that small, non-superpower nations can maintain control over their own defense capabilities. By producing its own fighter jets and exporting them, Sweden gains leverage in alliances and partnerships. Countries that choose the Gripen E are not just buying an aircraft, they're buying into a philosophy of independence. This can subtly shift global power, loosening the grip of traditional arms suppliers and creating more multipolar defense relationships. Think about Brazil. By partnering with Saab to build the Gripen E locally, Brazil isn't just getting new jets, it's gaining aerospace technology, jobs, and sovereignty over its maintenance and upgrades. For other mid-sized nations, this model is attractive. Instead of being a perpetual customer of Lockheed Martin or Sukhoi, they can develop industrial capacity at home. In the long run, this could diversify the global arms market and erode the dominance of a few giant suppliers. The Gripen E also embodies Sweden's broader national character. It's understated, functional, and designed for the real world, rather than air show theatrics. It leverages high technology not to create a gold-plated superweapon, but to produce a balanced, affordable system. This approach echoes Sweden's social model of pragmatism and adaptability, and it's resonating far beyond Scandinavia. Defense think tanks often call this the Nordic model for warfare, a blend of innovation, resilience, and sustainability. Of course, no fighter jet is perfect, the Grapen E lacks the full stealth shaping of fifth-generation aircraft, and its relatively light airframe limits payload compared to heavier jets. The point of the Gripen E isn't to match the F-22 in brute force. It's to give smaller nations a way to fight smart, using superior sensors, networking, and tactics to offset raw size. In wargame scenarios, this can be surprisingly effective. A dispersed fleet of Gripen E's firing long-range meteor missiles and jamming enemy sensors could inflict heavy losses before heavier adversaries even close the distance. In the end, what makes the Gripen E compelling is not just the jet itself, but what it represents. The democratization of advanced air power. For decades, only superpowers could field top-tier fighters. Today, thanks to Sweden's persistence, a much wider range of nations can access near fifth-generation capability at a sustainable price. This is likely to ripple through geopolitics. Smaller nations with independent air power can make independent decisions, which in turn can reshape alliances and conflicts. That's why analysts from Washington to Beijing are watching Sweden's program closely. They understand that a high-end but affordable fighter could undermine the business model of the F-35, shift procurement decisions in NATO, and offer non-aligned countries a credible alternative to Russian or Chinese hardware. In a world where defense spending is under scrutiny, the Grip and E's combination of performance and cost could be irresistible. This is also why the Gripe and E sparks emotional reactions. Some see it as an underdog hero challenging the monopolies of giant defense contractors. Others dismiss it as too small, too light, or lacking stealth. But history shows that underestimated aircraft sometimes prove the most influential. 
The F-16 was once considered a lightweight toy compared to heavy fighters like the F-15. Today, it's one of the most successful combat aircraft ever built. The Gryphon E may follow a similar path. Imagine the future battlefield. Heavy stealth fighters like the F-35 and Su-57 operate alongside swarms of drones. Radar and electronic warfare saturate the sky. In that environment, a fast, flexible, low-cost jet with advanced jamming and long-range weapons could be a nightmare opponent. The Gripen E is built for that world, not the world of Cold War massed dogfights. Its design anticipates the digital, data-driven conflicts of the 21st century, and so we come full circle. A small country in Northern Europe, once forced by neutrality to fend for itself, has produced a fighter jet that could reshape how nations think about air power. The Saab Gripen E stands as proof that innovation and pragmatism can still punch above their weight. Whether you're an aviation enthusiast, a defense analyst, or just someone curious about how technology shapes global power, the Gripen E's story is one worth following. If you've enjoyed diving into how Sweden's new fighter jet might outsmart rather than outspend the competition, don't stop here. Combat Tech Zone brings you deep dives into the technologies, tactics, and surprises redefining military power across the globe. Like this video, share it with friends who geek out on defense tech, and subscribe to Combat Tech Zone so you never miss our next investigation. Together, we'll keep exploring the machines and ideas that are quietly changing the balance of power in the 21st century. Stay ahead in the world of defense and innovation. Subscribe to Combat Tech Zone today. Like, share, and join our growing community of tech warriors exploring the future of military power.